Hello, in this video, I'm going to show you uh, the lazy way to write a blog post using AI uh, while still being able to rank on Google, even if you don't understand all of the SEO stuff. Uh, I will leave some links down below as resources and I'll also link to the tools I'm using, but I just wanna let you know, we're gonna cover ideation, outline, filling in the outline, <laughs> FAQs, and interlinking. We're going to use three tools. ChatGPT, which you can use the free version of, at least right now there's still a free version. Uh, Rank IQ, which I have a coupon discount code for you below. And then uh, last but not least, we're using Link Whisper, which is actually optional. You can manually do the process that I do. So Let's dive in and get started by going to Rank IQ. Here we are. And now if you don't have a Rank IQ account yet, it's $99 a month for 16 keyword reports, I believe. Let's see. Yeah, so you can, if you follow the, uh, the affiliate link or use the coupon, depending there's both options, then it will be $49 a month and you'll get 16 content briefs. Okay. Which is cheaper than surfer Ahrefs and SEMrush by quite a bit. There's also a keyword library, which is absolutely amazing. And is the whole reason I even used rank IQ for a while. Um, it's dedicated and run by blog dedicated to and run by bloggers. So uh, you can optimize your old posts. You can uh, do new posts, the whole nine yards. Let's go ahead and dive in. So as some of you know, I gave away uh, my theme park blog, Magic Theme Parks. And the person who won it, her name is Veronica. I am helping her figure out how to turn this into a six-figure blog. So one of the first things that I'm going to do is log into rank IQ and go to the keyword library. And then I'm going to search Disney world because she's actually visiting Disney world soon and wanted some keywords for that. I'm then going to sort by competition. I want the lowest competition first because with a brand new blog, the first thing I do is go after the lowest competition possible. And so I'm going to scroll and see if any of these stand out to me. Um, Disney World scooter tips stands out to me because that's something that we are going to be writing about. Uh, but the traffic is pretty low and that's okay. But I just want to keep looking a little bit. We have best restaurants in Disney World for adults. That's another one that I would use. So I can add this right here. Let me go back to the scooter. Uh, and so you can go through and decide what it is you're going to write about and actually um, I think I'm going to start with the Disney world scooter tips. So I'm going to click run report and then it's going to run the report. Now, while that's running, I want you to make sure that you have chat GPT or your AI tool of choice pulled up. It doesn't have to be chatty. Uh, it can be any AI tool of choice. And then also, however you're writing. So I'm writing right inside my WordPress dashboard, but you may be writing in a Google doc. That's fine too. You need something to save your work. Though Rank IQ has never ever crashed while I was using it. Uh, I'm still really scared to build my post inside of their content optimizer. Um, so it does take a little while, probably a minute or two. Uh, but while we're waiting for that to work, because I am not going through and editing this video, I just want to tell you that Rank IQ is AI assisted keyword research. And that is why it's the lazy way, in my opinion, and, and what I'm calling it, it's my lazy way of doing it. Because SEO has been one of those things that for years and years, it kind of stressed me out. And so instead of stressing out about it, I'm just using Rank IQ. It's doing the work for me. Now, again, I will link below to some resources that if you want to learn SEO and you're not just using this the way I am, if you want to actually learn SEO, you can go to those websites. But for me right now, it's just at this point in my life, I, I'm doing things the lazy way. And, and I'm kind of 
Yeah, I'm okay with that. <laughs> uh, so Rank IQ does help you create content that lands on page one of the search engines. And you can also optimize your old posts, which is pretty cool. Uh, you want to make sure that you're optimizing your old posts as much as, if not more than, you're creating new content, right? So go through once every you know, quarter, six months, whatever, and make sure you're updating those old posts. All right, it is ready for us. Now, this little, this is going to be just a little tutorial, uh, I guess, of Rank IQ as well. So right here, we have the SEO report. And then over here, we have the content optimizer. This is newly updated. Uh, I don't know exactly when, but I couldn't even find any videos on it. So hopefully this video helps you. Um, but the content analysis. So if you're looking to create an outline, you're going to look for theme, things that go together. So what type of theme, see there's there's the theme variation or LSI. What type of, type of keywords here are going to match the theme of what you're writing about? And we decided to write about Disney World scooter tips. Um, there's also a, an option for subtopics and the theme inside of a theme. If you look up here at these hashtags, this tells you how many times that tag is used in this report. And now, again, if you go to the content optimizer over here, um, you're actually going to get the same information right here, but it's just the keywords. It's not the theme variation and LSI. Once you look through these, you can throw some of them in the trash if you want. Like if you see something that you're just like, there's no way that fits, then you can throw it away. But I don't really see anything off the top of my head that would get thrown away. So I'm going to leave that there. Uh, Veronica is the Disney expert. I am not. So she might throw some of these away, but we're just going to do a little test. Okay. Um, after you do your ideation, which is, is what we did in the first part where we were looking through the keyword ideas, you're going to use this section to build your outline. So I'm going to go with, um, we're going to do a versus on at Disney versus an outside company, um, electric scooter, mobility scooter is a variation of that. So I'm actually going to go theme for mobility scooter, variation for electric scooter. Um, park entrance, mobility devices. That's going to be another variation for me. Dolphin Resort, Second Park, Rental Counter. So the Rental Counter is going to be a, a subsection for sure that I talk about. Uh, the Front Desk. And again, Veronica might decide that these are variations. I'm not sure. I haven't been to Disney World. Um, front Basket. So this is going to be like uh, the, the features of the scooter. But I don't know where, if their features are on here. All right. So let's just download the tagged topics for our outline. Um, let me see. Yeah, because there's a lot of this that I can do, but I'm going to have to do a little bit of it. All right. So we're downloading the tagged topics for your outline. Those can go into a Google Sheet. And this gives us our themes and variations, right? So I'm going to say, I'm going to take those. I'm going to go over to Chatty and I'll say, I'm writing a blog post. The blog is Magic Theme Parks where they focus on Disney. The blog post is, what was, I totally forgot. What was the whole keyword? It was something for Disney World Scooter Tips. All right. Is called Disney World Scooter Tips, which that's not really our name, but that's what I'm putting in here. Um, please 
outline a thorough post with these H2s. Please add in FAQs and their answers as well. So now ChatGPT is writing me an outline for my Disney World scooter tips. And while ChatGPT is doing that, I can go over to Rank IQ down to the title analysis tool. So what do we want this to say? Uh, let's see, seven tips for using a mobility scooter at Disney World. Is that too bad? Let's see. Hey, it's green. Woohoo. All right. So it turns green whenever you have used enough of the keywords from this list. Uh, it has more than uh, 35 or more characters, but less than 60. So 35 to 60 characters. Uh, and then it gives you a grade over here. But you want to make sure, like, this is all AI, right? So you want to make sure that it makes sense. But I think that it makes sense. Uh, we could probably even say the ultimate guide. Let's see if that works. Hold on. The ultimate guide. It says it's too long to using a scooter at Disney World. How about that? Okay. I'm going to go with that. If Veronica changes it, that's okay too. But that's going to be it. Because I do want this to be an ultimate guide. Because if you have to get a scooter, you want to know that stuff ahead of time. Now, top ranking titles with competition analysis. Uh, whenever you see, let's see, right here, there's two of these. Do you see this one? It's green. And then you see this one. It's green as well. That means these are good opportunities to go and kick their butts, basically. <laughs> uh, so if you don't know anything about SEO, it's really just a game. It's fun if you take the pressure off and stop worrying about every little technical detail because Rank IQ takes care of it for you. Like, I don't have to understand all of the ins and outs. I don't have to know oh, this Google algorithm, blah, blah, blah. I don't have to think about all of that, right? I just come into Rank IQ and it does all of the work for me and it's amazing. So this stands out right here, how to rent a scooter at Walt Disney World and Universal and then scooter rental at Disney World, where to find them plus I don't know what. So if I wanted to look at those posts and see what they included and include more, then that might be a good idea. Um there's also the grade. You want to get an A, right? Because we always want an A. But there's also highest graded content in the search. So you can click on how to rent wheelchairs and scooters at Disney. You can click on that and see. Let's just do it. Let's do it. And so you can see what their post looks like. Okay. Um, and you just need to make a better experience for your people, have, you know, good answers, that kind of thing. Uh, so this shows, this is cool. It says quantities of wheelchairs and scooters are limited. This means you usually need to arrive early if you want to rent one. And it says, if you want to rent one, go to the following locations. And it tells you where. Um, so when Veronica writes this post, actually, we've already talked about this because, uh, it's like a hundred bucks a day or something. So we already talked about this. She's going to show how to do it in a better way. And that's just, that alone is going to make the post better. But these are things that you can look at whenever you're writing your post, right? And it's going to give you ideas. Like it says limited mobility. Of course, we're going to talk about that. Now back over to chat GPT. This is the outline it gave us. So explanation of why mobility scooters are important. Uh, renting one, so renting a scooter from an outside company versus renting from Disney, pros and cons of each option, uh, blah, blah, blah. This is all very awesome and would be even more thorough and on point if I had taken some more time over in Rank IQ to label some more of these themes, right? So how about wheelchair is the theme and then the variation is going to have the uh, different features, right? And so... Um, that's another way to do even more in your post. Uh, let's see, slow speed. And you guys, I'm not doing this perfectly. Um, there is a video somewhere in here for to show how to do it. I'm just doing this for, for me right now. So please watch the Rank IQ tutorial once you sign up. There's a video that pops up and tells you how to use it. So please, please use that. This is just an example, okay? Um, rental receipt, rental companies. All right. 
So I'm going to download this. And I know I just downloaded one, but I'm going to do that real quick. And then I'm going to import. And then what I'm going to do is take these themes. Awesome job. Please rewrite the outline, including and these variations, which I don't even know if it's going to understand that part, but that's OK. And these keywords, how about that? And so chat GPT is going to revise the outline that I asked it to write earlier. And this is the point where you're going to copy and paste this into a Google doc, because again, I don't trust any of these things to save my information. So we're going to copy and paste over to a Google doc just in case, right? Just in case. Oh, do control shift V to copy and paste without the uh, formatting. All right. Um, so looking at the explanation. Okay, so please expand on the introduction and the overview of renting a mobility scooter sections one and two. Be thorough and give step by step now, when you're working with ChatGPT or any AI tool, you can tell it to be friendly or funny or whatever else. And that's one of the things that you're going to want to do. So it's not writing just like a robot, right? Um, another thing that you want to keep in mind is you've got to fact check. Like this says, reserve your scooter. You can reserve a scooter in advance through Disney's official website or by calling this number. I don't know if that's a true thing. I have no idea. So that's when your expertise come in, right? Your expertise come in. I'm copying and pasting this over into my WordPress dashboard. All right. Renting a mobility scooter is our next section. Again, copying and pasting, just popping it over into WordPress. No pressure, nothing crazy, just popping it in there, right? Okay. We're going to turn this into a heading, an H2. And this is just your first draft, y'all. So now the next part is uh, we got to expand on sections three and four. Please expand on sections three and four. Make it friendly and funny. Be thorough. Go step by step. And then we have five and six and seven uh, that we can do next. Now I'm popping all of this into WordPress, but remember how I told you that you should probably put it in a Google doc because when you put it in a Google doc, it's easier to copy and paste over into rank IQ's content optimizer without formatting. But I'm going to do it this way because that's how I do it. <laughs> uh, all right. So we're copying and then we are pasting. And then I'm going to pop over here and make sure that my headings are headings and I get rid of the numbers because I'm not going to use the Roman numerals in this. Okay. Now these subheadings, you can always change and you don't need to number everything. So chat GPT loves to number. I prefer to bold or do subheadings. So you could make this into an H3, for example, right? Or you could go bold. For this section, I'm actually liking the H3s. Usually I'm a bold type of person, but I'm going to do it. I'm going to do H3s. Okay, so everything in this section would be H3s. Then we go back to our H2s and get rid of these numbers. Do we want to do uh, subheadings or do we want to do formatting? I'm going to do more subheadings. I think Veronica has enough information that without fluff, we can make this a few thousand words. It's already a thousand words and this is a first draft. All right. Where am I? Okay. Back over here to the 
uh, chatty. We're going to have it expand on, we did three and four. We're going to do five and six. Please expand on sections, whoops, sections V and VI. Keep it light and funny, but be thorough step by step. And then uh, please answer any FAQs asked. Okay. And one of the things that uh, AI loves to do is do first, second, third, finally. I don't like that at all. It's very like third grade, fourth grade essay type, and I'm not cool with it. So I take those away, but uh, it's totally up to you if you keep them. Okay, we're doing H3s, H3s, perfect. Uh, that's the H2, yep, got that. Wow, this is actually pretty darn good content. I'm excited. Y'all, this is the lazy way to write blog posts, and it's freaking beautiful. Beautiful, beautiful, beautiful. Okay, I'm going to do the same thing. We're going to heading, 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 heading all of these. And they will need to be expanded on. But I am so excited about this post. Oh my goodness. Okay, so we got all of this. Um, please finish up with more FAQs related to disability accessibility at Disney World. Please answer all FAQs. And we don't need this anymore because we already use the outline. Don't need our keyword uh, themes either. After I'm finished here, I'm going to pop this over into Rank IQ, uh, the content optimizer. So I'm going to copy and paste this as soon as it's ready. Okay, here's some more FAQs. And I noticed that it says remember a few times here, so we got to cut that out. Paste. And then, ah, I got rid of the numbers wrong. Start at the top, guys. Start at the top. Okay. Look at those beautiful FAQs. I can't even. Let's see how much Rank IQ likes it, though, because, you know, I don't always get a number one or an A plus with them. <laughs> Let's view the preview. And again, like, y'all know, we got to put images and all that stuff in there, but... We're going to go ahead and copy. I will remove those numbers. I just saw those at the top, but that's okay. All right. We're going to copy it. I'm scared. This is all AI, though. I haven't touched it. So let's see what it says. How bad is my grade? Oh, no. D minus. Did I not use enough keywords? Nope. Okay. So on the right-hand side, it says show unused. So we need to go ahead and copy these. <laughs> All right, please write a few more H2s in the body of the copy. Please include these keywords. I knew it was going to be a terrible grade because Rank IQ is very picky. But again, this is why we're using it because it's telling us all the things. So it's only got 1,700 words. Our target is 2,000. And then a bunch of these words that we didn't use, right? So I'm going to select all, get rid of that. We're going to start back over here in, in uh, chatty, right? Hey, wow, wow, wow. Okay. Please expand on VII, VIII, IX, and X. Be friendly and fun. So we still have 11, 12, 13, 14, 15, 16, 17, 18, 19. Oh my goodness. That's all right. This post is supposed to be the ultimate guide. So I'm not opposed to all of these. However, I will say 
some of this is going to be fluff. So after this is all in there and we get a decent grade, I'm, I'm happy with a B to start off with and rank IQ. So once we pop this draft in and get a B, right, then we've got to add our own stuff and remove the fluff. Okay, so we're going to do this before the FAQs, navigating, returning. We're going to put it in between navigating and returning. You can ask uh, chat GPT to not use the Roman numerals, and then you won't have to erase them like I am. We're making these H2s, and then we will go in and edit. Remember to fact check literally everything, okay? Literally everything. Uh, but that's where your expertise comes in, right? Okay, we're expanding on. What else are we going to do? I think we did 10, so... Okay, we're not going to do the this one using electric conveyance vehicles. We don't need to do that. Um, after it generates this response, just for productivity's sake, I already have, you know, or efficiency's sake, I guess. We already have this in there. That's what I want it to do next. So I don't lose it. I'm going to take this, copy it. I'm going to press enter to generate. And then I'm going to hop over here. And you really got to pay attention to where you're putting things to. Um, I'm creating a very rough first draft for Veronica. So Veronica is going to have to move things around a little bit, I'm sure. Okay. And some of these might not be necessary. What to do with your receipt? Like... Mm, I don't know if that really needs to be in there, but maybe there's a reason for it because if other posts are writing about it, you know? All right, heading. Uh, and remember, you guys, the reason I'm over in this window is because ChatGPT is working in the other window. Lazy, 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 lazy. Be lazy. Here's the rest of our post. We already did what to do with a receipt um, using an outside vendor we do need. Okay, okay, this is good. Let's pop that in there. Again, I'm, gonna, I'm just going to pop it in before the FAQs. I love all this formatting that it's doing, though. Um, like the bullet points, now I just need to bold. Bold. Bold, bam, right? Like, wow. Okay, so I'm getting rid of these uh, Roman numerals. Wow, I don't know if I can make a sound effects like that. It might get banned. <laughs> okay. After all of these are subheadings, again, we're going to save draft. How about them apples? 3,000 words. Let's see if we get any better of a score, though. Uh, again, this is all AI, you guys. I haven't done anything. Holy moly. That's a lot. Okay. Uh, okay, back to rank IQ. <gasps> It's an A. It's an A minus. <gasps> oh my gosh. Oh my gosh. Oh my gosh. Whole, it's an A minus, you guys. I didn't do anything. That's awesome. Okay. Again, this, this is AI. This is AI. It's an algorithm, blah, 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 whatever, right? So uh, you got to make sure now that you have this A, that you go over into your post and you start formatting like I've been doing all along. 
Um, I don't like any in this blog post, blah, blah, blah. I hate that. So I don't, I don't use that. Uh, we're not wanting the numbers. Okay. So format, format, format. And then what do you need to do next? You need to add your own images and stories. And then you also need to do your inner linking. So we did the ideation, outline, filling in the outline, and the FAQs. Last but not least is interlinking. I can't interlink here because this is the first blog post that will go live on this blog. So if you go to magicthemeparks.com right now, it's completely blank. Like I, this is a uh, starter template that I just installed. There's nothing on it yet. So uh, this week we're going to be updating that. Uh, Veronica's going to be writing some posts. She's going to get her email list up. So I can't interlink, but if I could, I would scroll to the bottom and I would use Link Whisper. Now, again, I can't really show you uh, how to use Link Whisper in this blog yet because it's brand new, but you can add inbound links. You can add uh, links outbound to your other posts. There's all kinds of things you can do with Link Whisper. And that's usually my next step after I add in the images and format, I'm going to, uh, pull up Link Whisper and interlink as much as I possibly can. Um, now, I don't go too crazy, but every post should have links in and links out, right? So try to interlink as much as you can. And like I said at the beginning of this, you don't have to have Link Whisper for this. However, it's a very good tool and it makes it to where you can be lazier. Yes, you can interlink your posts manually. But once you have a hundred posts, do you really want to have to go back through and be like, where did I use this, this keyword that I could interlink? Where did I use this? Like nobody wants to do that. So, uh, that's one of the first purchases I make for my new blogs is link whisper as, as well as rank IQ. Um, rank IQ's keyword library is amazing. So I just want to show you very briefly, um, uh, it's got a gazillion keywords. So even if you're like, oh, I need more than 16 reports each month, you know, and you think you're going to need more than 16, you really don't <laughs> uh, because you can use this keyword library to create clusters of posts. Um, you know what? I can do a whole video on uh, Link Whisper if you want, and I can do a whole video on the actual, like how I get my keywords here. Cause I'm not going to call it a keyword research process. Rank IQ already does all of this for me. I just go in and grab things. So I could do a whole video on that. If you want, uh, let me know in the comments. And if you do want that, I will do it. Um, I, as soon as this post is live, I will post the link so you guys can see it too. And hopefully you can see it grow in the ranks. Uh, if you're intimidated about writing your blog posts and you're overthinking the heck out of everything, just stop. Go and get Rank IQ, 49 bucks a month for peace of mind to know that you're doing the right thing is freaking priceless. So that's why I use it. It's why I recommend it to all bloggers because even if you know SEO, you're still gonna need a tool, right? Uh, so use the link below, go check out Rank IQ. Uh, if you're not using AI yet, this is your sign. It's time to use AI. Uh, if you wanna join my AI group, the link will be below too. Am I going to remember to put all these links down there? Probably not. Wish me luck.